um, am I only adding other the software engineer at Winter Search. I studied um, zoology at the University of Nevada. After which, um, I decided to take a deep dive into tech. At the time, my friend's girlfriend, now his wife, shout out to her, Ola Olayinka, had just uh, had recently just completed SGA whole one uh, as a UIX designer. And I was curious, ah, what's, what's this whole UIX thing all about? She explained to me and she got a job and via student. So when I was still studying and there was a day she gave me a call and told me student where um, student was going to start a, um, a, a training in front-end development and UI UX. So I got excited. Well, wow, okay, front-end development, no problem. I'll, I'll take it up. And so that's how I got into student. So then pointed me in the direction where I needed to go. My name is Amin Yanyola. I am a product designer career-wise after I finished NYC. I got a mail from Spartan to apply for the um, SGA. I didn't know what, I, I didn't know what it was, so I um, asked a few people and they told me and I applied. I did the whole process and I got in and got my first job and now here I am. Everybody that goes through class are supposed to work on a um, project so that you have something to show. So I worked on something called Couch Crafters. Um, I remember after after um, the class, I got a call from Shea that I had an interview with a firm called Twitter. I went and I was asked to resume the next day, like that was just it. I, I was also to resume the next day and from there I changed jobs and I'm here. My name is Olain Kaudetola. I'm a UI UX designer at Terragon Group. I'm a computer science graduate from Ajay Crowder University. I used to teach kids robotics, but I got tired. I wanted to do something in tech. I came across to them through a friend of mine. She told me about um, a company that sends um, internship opportunities to students and graduates. So um, I applied and somehow, somehow, students sent me a message about your UX and I was like, Wow, yeah, you design. I've never heard of yeah, you design. What can I do? Yeah, you design. So I was skeptical about applying at first, but later I just decided to apply. And I found out yeah, you is actually really it. That was the beginning of my career. So I've been working since last year, February till now, and it, it has been really great. Um, after student, our CVs and our portfolios were sent to different companies and I am I, we were called for interviews so I went for so many interviews and after a series of interviews I got three offers so I had to just pick one from the three offers so so life after to 10 has been has been great I've seen a significant growth in my career as a young UX designer you can't just you can't just stay put you have to you have to always constantly design. You have to constantly, constantly put in the work. Sleepless nights, if possible. Do UI daily UI challenges. Do Adobe XD challenges. Make sure your portfolio is up to par. Look at what have, have mentors. Look at what other people have done. Because that was how I was able to grow my myself. So you look at how what other people have done. You have to always constantly put in the work. So then has really changed my life. It gave me a career path. So I will employ you to apply. You have to apply. Hello, my name is Hello, everybody. Good morning. Can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear me? Yes, I can. 
Yes. Oh, great. I can hear you. Okay. Great. Thank you. So good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing great. Thank you very much for uh, joining in. So Jalili, the person that is supposed to host this session said he might be, he would be a few minutes late. So please let's give him a few minutes to join the call. Yeah, really. Oh, hi, Jalili. Hi. Hi forever. Nice, great. Hi. Hi, Jelly Lee. Yeah, can you hear me? Hi, how are you doing? Hello, Jelly Lee. Yeah, forever. How are you? How are I'm you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing, Jelly Lee? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, great. Your is Jelly, I think you can, you can go ahead. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um, please, I would permit me to share my screen. Yes, please go ahead. All right. Good morning, everybody. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Yeah, so I'm doing well. Yeah, so are we excited? Yes, we are. I want to be sure that people, I can't get feedback from people. Are we excited? I need feedback from people so that I'll be sure that, yes, that um, everybody yes, can. We are. Yes, we are. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being part of this, um, this session. Um, the whole essence of the session is to, you know, just um, prepare you for for um, for certain what it takes and um, how you can actually, you know, get started. And um, we have an assignment that was given to uh, to us, so I'll try to, you know, not necessarily, you know, do the assignment for us, but walk us through the process how we can you know get the assignment done and um you know tools that will be required for us to to get the assignment done so i'll walk us through the process however before i begin to go deep into the conversation let me just do a brief introduction about myself so as you all know my name is Jalili umaru i'm a software engineer with dodge services and um proud to join in certain I, I was working in the financial sector. I worked for the pension industry for a very long time. And, you know, I studied the um, computer science from the Lagos State University. And, um, you know, you know, in this part of the world, as a computer science, as a computer science graduate, you know, you, you just, you find yourself doing something different, something else. So, you know, my career path was always toward was trending towards what uh, um was you know aggravating towards 
um, the financial sector and I needed to really, you know, do something in technology. So I started taking some, some I started, you know, taking some online courses and all those stuff and I started, you know, trying to develop myself. However, you know, one of the things about lying to self lane is that, um, yes, you're trying as, um, as somebody trying to, try, trying to learn on your own online. However, you get stuck, and I'm sure many of us would have gone through that process as well, where that process yes. where you... Sorry? I said yes, I said yes. Yeah, so that process where we are, you're just trying to learn some things on your own, and you just keep getting stuck. You can't, you don't know how to move forward. You don't know how to go backward. You don't even know where to start from. You don't know what is the right thing to do. You don't know if what you are doing is going to right. You don't even know, you don't know anything. You are just trying to today. You say, ah, man, somebody comes to tell you that, ah, HTML, HTML, you, you learn HTML. Tomorrow somebody comes to tell you that, ah, you need to JavaScript is good. You are learning Java, you learn JavaScript for two weeks and you are just going, before you know, somebody just say, ah, somebody just tell you that, man, .NET is, is very hot in the market. You abandon Java, you start going back to JavaScript, you go to .NET, you're starting to do .NET. And then there's a Python. Python is a very pro popular language now. You know, oh, God, Python. okay, where should I start? So you start jumping from one angle to the other without achieving anything. So when I came to start 10, it was an eye opener, but we began, you know, so many things we were, we were put through so many, you know, process, so many, and I'm going to tell you, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this to you guys so that I can prepare your mind. Um, if you come to start 10, it's not, you're not coming to play. There's no time for play. If you time if you come to play, your 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 colleagues will leave you behind. You are going to drill you. Jonathan is going to drill you and make sure that you know you come out the best. And I can assure you that so many people that we, we came to the process the, the course together that we started the course together. I can tell you that many of us now are you know in a very good place. Most of us are working in a very good place, and it's been a very good experience. It's been a very good experience for everybody. So basically, what I'll just basically want to tell you that you get prepared, be ready for the hard work, be ready for assignments, and be ready to challenge yourself for that. If you can perform, if you can do those things, I can assure you, the sky will be the limit. Total is going to take you through the process. Don't know, don't worry about the process. The process will be will be will be, this, will be there. You will go through that process as you should, as you should go through that process. Yours is to do the hard work learn fast and um, be dedicated. And one more thing, one more thing I must stress out, which is very, very, one more thing I must stress out, which is very, very important, is you have to sacrifice time. You have to be ready to sacrifice time for this. Once you are able to do that, I can assure you, the sky is not just the limit. The sky is going to be the starting point. So, Basically, I think I've talked a little, a little bit about Stoughton. You know, Stoughton is a skill development, it's a skills and, de and development and job placement platform that trains and connects young African talents with long-term employment. I'm sure some of us saw the, pre the videos that were, they were, they were, they were they, that, uh, that was being shown shortly, not long ago, that was showing about people's experiences, people's uh, testimonies about how Stoughton has really been a blessing to them. And I can assure you, as long as the, the, the steps I highlighted earlier on, you're able to follow them, you're able to dedicate yourself, you just do your own part, Totten is going to do their own part. That is it. You, Totten is going to make you marketable. They'll, they'll, they'll make you, they'll make, they'll develop, make you, they'll transform you into a world-class developer. And I can assure you right now, I can compete with any developer anywhere in the world. That's how good I am because I went through the process in Totten. <clears throat> so by the end of this call, the, by the end of this conversation, by the end of this call, the goal of this call is for you to be able to, you know, find your task and we'll be able to help you try to attempt your task. I know for some of us here, maybe we have a little experience in how to, you know, handle this, um, this kind of task. However, for some of us, we haven't, we don't have the, the experience to do that. We don't have the, um, uh, We've not, we've not 
had any reason to attempt such things, so we really don't know much how to do it. But by the end of this class, I will be able to put you through a little bit, not necessarily help you to do the task, but to put you in a direction whereby you can assist yourself and help yourself to do the task. So that is the ultimate goal for this task. So how to find your task? Um, after submitting your application, check your email. Once you submit your application, check your email. Once you check your email, you'll see an instruction. Follow the instruction sent to you for stage two. If you don't get the email, check your spam folder or send a message to admission at It's very, very important that you should always send emails if you, know, if you because I remember when I wanted to join Stoughton as well, I sent my form, I registered, I didn't get I didn't get a response on time. So I had to send emails. And the moment I sent email, I got a response immediately. So you have to you know, send email if you don't get any response. If you need anything, you can also send email. And one of the good things about Stoughton is that um, every of your employees are very, very approachable. So be free to send email and um, if possible, if you have their phone number, you can also call. Follow the instructions in the email. Use the learning materials. Attempt the task using any two software of your choice. Prepare for submission. And if you have any question, visit the FAQ page or email. So you can email, send an email to start them. So it's clear. The, the steps to find your task is very clear. Just once you once once you submit your application, you check your email, you follow the instruction, and you know. You use the materials that will be sent to you to achieve um, the goal. So learning is a skill, and it's the key skill we are looking for. That's the point in this task. I already, I cannot overemphasize this point to you guys. If you you don't have to you don't have to be you don't have to be an experienced developer to come to Stockton. You can be. I know. I know. I I know one of my colleagues that we can, we, we, we that we do in our set. He had zero experience, zero experience. In fact, he has zero experience in JavaScript. As I speak to you, he's so, he so good that he can compete anywhere in the world. He can get any job in the world with his current knowledge. Like I say, you have to be ready to learn because it's not just about you willing to just join. This is not something you want to just you have to be willing to learn. If you don't, if you're not willing to learn, they must, well, Stoughton is, not, is, not, Stoughton is going to make sure that you are ready to learn. Stoughton is going to make sure that you are ready and willing to learn because you have to do your assignments. You have to do your tasks. You have to deliver on them. If you don't deliver on them, you'll be left behind. Your colleagues are going to, you just see your colleagues performing better than you. So you have to be ready to learn. And that's why they say learning is a skill. And it's a key skill we are looking for. That is the point in this task. The purpose of this task, basically, is to see your ability to learn. If you don't have any experience, fine. But however, we'll put you through a little process right now and see how you are able to take that little process and do your assignments. That's just what we want. We certainly doesn't want any other thing. But it's not for you to. It's not for you to pass. It. There's no grade. It's just to see how you're learning, how you can learn. That's the whole essence of this um, task. So how to complete your task. Now let's discuss the task. What is the task? The task is um, cloning Excel lifestyle blog. It's a blog. I'm going to show you the blog shortly. I'm going to show you the blog shortly. I'm going to walk you through how you can, you know, how you can deliver on that task. So why is it included in the application? The program is quite fast paced and a lot of self learning skills are required. Again, I cannot emphasize this fact that you need to learn how to self learn. You need to, it's very, very key. It just doesn't matter. Okay, let me, let me tell you, currently I'm learning, I'm learning a, 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 I'm currently learning a programming language, a total stack, a different stack currently that is totally different from the normal stack I'm used to. And the reason why I'm learning that stack is because I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a particular project in the future that might require that stack. 
I'm currently learning for uh, that project right now. And for me to be able to get that particular project, I need to be able to, you know, display that I, I can prove myself in this task. Right now, I can't afford to go through any other, I have to learn it by myself. So I have to dedicate a lot of time to learn this task on my own. So it's the same thing, you have to be ready to self-learn. I said, I said earlier, sacrifice is key. You have to be ready to sacrifice time. It's in the process of you learning, you will understand that time is money. You need to be able to sacrifice time. And if you can sacrifice time for this program, I can assure you that the sky will be the limit. So this is it's quite fast paced and a lot of self-learning skills are required to see it through to the end. The task, way, the task is a way to confirm that a prospective learner has this ability or is able to acquire it. So the goal of this task is to see, is to see, is not to really test your competency, no. It's to just test that yes, you have the ability to be able to do this. And once we test it and you're able to do it, we understand that yes, you are resilient and you know you are actually the kind of material that Stoughton is looking for for this kind of um, thing. So how to complete your tasks? Okay, so now there are so many tools that you would need to, to do. There are so many things, there are so many uh, things you need to be able to complete your task. One of the things as a developer, as a software developer that you should have Depending on, it doesn't matter the kind of um, the kind of uh, um, operating system you work with. Maybe Mac, Linux, or Windows. You must use Node. If you're going to be a JavaScript developer, you will definitely need Node. So Node is one key because many of your runtime engine will be front end uh, um, um, front end application, uh, front end uh, framework like React or back end framework like Node.js would run on this node. The, your code, your, your, the runtime engine cannot run unless you have node installed on your system. So first you need to install node on your PC and this is very crucial software that you need. So for you to be able to install node, all you just need to do is to go to this link, nodejs.org. Go to, let me, uh, sorry. Yeah, let me close this. Okay. Let's go to nodejs.org. Nodejs.org. Okay, so this is nodejs.org. What you just need to do is to come here, recommended for most users. The latest version is version 14.15.1. 14 14 .1. This is the latest version. Just click this. Once you click this, it will download on your system. And once it downloads on your system, you can install it. Once you are done installing it, you are done. It's nothing else. Don't do anything else. You are done with it. So you need Node.js first so that your code can run, your, your React code, your any, any of the JavaScript framework that uses Node as a platform can run on your machine. That is one. Then secondly, you need an IDE to be able to run your code. You need an IDE to be able, an IDE, an IDE basically means it's a software that enables you to run your code. It's a software that enables you to write code, execute code, debug, and test your code. Okay. Can you get, I hope you guys can hear me very well. I want to be sure that um, everybody can hear me. Hello. Yes, Jerry. Hear yeah, you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you need um you need a you need an integrated development environment to be able to run your code. And when I say integrated development environment, I'm going to show you an example of it. I have one that I've, I use frequently, which is this. You can see this software here. It's called Visual Studio Code. This is called Visual Studio Code. This enables you to write your code. You can see here, I can, you can see how I'm testing my code here. I'm running on a particular server. I can see my server here. I'm writing my codes here. And you can see I have different codes that I have here. I have different codes that I'm working on. So this is basically how the ID is. This is for Visual Studio Code. It depends on whichever one you are comfortable with. I also have 
another visual, another uh, one called Sublime Text, which I also use, but I rarely use it recently. I rarely use it because um, I have bias for Visual Studio Code. So I use um, Sublime Text. This is Sublime Text too. You can see how it is. You can also use Sublime Text for your application to you write your code very good, very fast. And there is also another one uh, called Atom. The same thing, Atom. I mostly use Atom for Python. When I remember I'm writing a Python, um, I'm writing a Python, I use um, Atom. I can, you can use Atom for anything, but I just prefer because, because I'm used to writing on my JavaScript code with VS code. So I just want to, it's just something I, I do on my own. So I don't, you don't have, you, anyone you are most comfortable with, you can um, you can choose to work with, basically. So, how to complete your task? There are so many useful links. There are so many links you can. There are so many places you can actually go to 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 you know to learn things about JavaScript to learn things on what you'll be taught in um, Stoughton. One of them is um, W3 School. W3 School is a very, up to today, I still use W3 Schools. You can never get it wrong with W3 School. They are very good. They have a lot of resources, HTML. You can see, it's a, look, the book, you can come here, you can see different tutorials, HTML. You can learn CSS from there. You can learn Bootstrap. You can learn React, Angular, JSON, Ajax. So many things, JavaScript. Let's click on JavaScript and let's see. You can see it's going to take you through all the process one after the other. You understand? Let's go to HTML. You can see HTML. It's going to help you. You can see HTML here. So you can have whichever ones you want. You can have whichever thing you want to learn. You can come here and learn. It's going to give you an introduction to HTML. You can see here introduction, what is HTML? What does it stand for? You know, a simple HTML document, how it looks like. I'm going to be showing you those ones very shortly. You understand? But basically this is how, you know, it is. And um, you can always learn from using W3 schools. Another place you can actually get information from is reading schools. Reading schools is very, very good. I love using reading schools because um, they they even go deeper into a lot of the explanations, and they try to make it easy for the for the reader to understand some basic things. So if you if you are interested, you can also go to reading schools. These are materials you can use to save learn. You get so because while Sutton is teaching you, you also need to learn your own that is basic that's what makes you a developer what makes you a developer is not just the ability to just take in theory no it's the ability to be able to learn on your own to be ability to be able to do things on your own and the ability to be able to to you know to solve problems on your own so once you are done with your task once you're done with your task and you've submitted your task you will need to be prepared and submit interview questions and task giving. Once you, if you have any problem, you can send an email to admission at stotten.com. So let me show you how to, let me show you how you can, you know, tackle the task that is give you. Let me open the task first and um, give me a second. Let me open the task and show you how you can deal with the task. Wait, there's a background noise there. Can the person mute, please? Um, I think that's all, Ajide. Please, can you turn off your mic?
Can you give me a second? Try to get the task opened. Okay, so it's all right. I want to be sure that you guys can see my screen. Okay, so this is the site that we'll be creating. Okay, so the task is this. Number one, when you're given a task, read the task and try to understand what you are being asked to do. If you do not understand, ask questions and don't just get into the task without understanding what you are asked to do. That is the number one goal whenever you see a question. Maybe it's in top 10, maybe an interview. The first thing you need to do is to try and understand the question very well. Now, task, the task is this, is that create a, a HTTPS, this is a site, create a clone of this site with only HTML and CSS. No need to make it work or perform any behavior at all. Just a clone that looks exactly the same. Bonus, deploy your new web page using Surge. Now, Surge is basically a free hosting site where you can host static websites <laughs> where you can hold static websites static website basically mean like a one page website where you can host a static website now complete this exercise in project one and two found here complete the exercises in project one and two found here blog clone help desk session here so they give you a link and a material to use now let us look at the site that we are asked to clone now, this is the site that we are asked to clone. It's a simple HTML site. And um, now this is the site we are asked to clone. So basically what they want us for, so for those of us that are not yet, that are not used to HTML before, that I don't know anything about HTML, I'll try and walk you through how you can do this. So the goal is not to show you this, but the goal is just walk you through how you can do this. Now, number one, remember I told you earlier that you can actually use my, uh, so you can deploy, use an, any ID of your choice to do, to write this kind of thing. So if I were you, the first thing I want to do first is to go to, if I were you, the first thing I want to do first is to go to w3schools.com and go to HTML and try to consume did their materials. I don't, even, I don't even need to consume everything because from the assignment, the task I was given, very few things I just need to consume. I don't even need to read from more than here to maybe here. So they want to do basic elements. You need to understand what HTML is. HTML elements. Understand what HTML element is. H1, P, BR. So let me try and show you guys those things. Let me open code pen. Code pen .io. Okay. So let me take this away. Let me take this away. All right. So code pen dot um, io. So I'm not trying to do the assignment for you, but I'm trying to make you understand how you can do the assignment. So 
Okay. Now, one of the first things to use your HTML, to use HTML from W3 schools, you can see the example they give us in W3 schools here, introduction. Let's go to the introduction. Now, you can see that for you to use HTML, you need the HTML tag, which is this, the, an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag. Then you need to put this to the tell to let your system, your, the engine know that you are writing an HTML5 application. So you need to put this so that um, you can know that it's an HTML5 application. But basically, before you start writing an HTML, you need to have an opening tag and a closing tag of an HTML. So this tells the engine that you are about writing an HTML code. Now, when you're writing an HTML code, just like every human being, you have you need a head. So you have an head, the head has an opening tag, the head has an closing, it has a closing tag. Now the head has a title. The title is always on the head. Basically, what is the title? The title is what shows on the screen and uh, here, the title. Now you have your H1 tag and H2 tag. Now you have a body. After the head, you have body. Body has an opening tag, body has a closing tag. You can see, now you have your H1 and P tag. Once you read all these things, you can see, but let me just do a little demonstration of this. Let us copy this code. Let's see if we can copy this code. Let's see if we can copy this code here. And let's take it to our code pen. Let me see. Okay, you can see. Now you can see that it's showing. It's really my first header, my paragraph. So you can see that to create the paragraph, I can do something like this. So you have an idea of how to handle something like this. Sorry, not this. You have an idea of how to handle something like this and how to handle something like this. You understand? So you can see that when I hover this, it changes color. When I hover on this, it changes color. What does that mean? That means because that means this is a CSS effect. And remember, the assignment, the task is for you to use HTML and CSS only. You get. So let us do something. Now let us do something here, my code pen. Let me do something else. Let me put, let me put an, my first header. Let me put an H2 tag here. Let me put an H2 tag here. And let me say, my second heading. Now you can see the H2 tag is smaller than the H1 tag. You can see. Now I want to hover on this H2 tag. So that means I need to come to my CSS. Now I'm not teaching you this because I want to just show you an example so you have an experience and understanding of how you can go through your assignment. But first and foremost, you need to take the materials and you need to consume the materials that I have given to you. Learn from the materials. And I can assure you, if you can learn from them one day, let maximum two days, you should be able to do this. Now, let me click on my H2 tag. I want to start get my H2 tag, which is this. So I'll do H2, sorry, I'll do H2, I'll open this. And once I do this, it means that I have time targeting this H2 tag. So what do I want to do? Basically, I want a situation where when I hover on the H2 tag, it changes color. So I can say H2 tag dot hover. It means when I hover on my H2 tag, perform this action. So what action do I want it to perform? I want it to change color. So I want the color of the H2 tag. Color should be, let me see. Let me say blue. Let me say blue. Now that I've done that,
So now that I've done this, let me let me run it. Now you see it reloads. Let me reload. Oh, you can see my changes. Sorry about that. Let me create the H2 tag again. My second heading. Okay, so let's target the H2 tag here. H2. Let's say let's say the color first to be blue. You can see that the H2 color is blue. Let's say the color when we do H2 dot hover. When we hover on H2. Let's say the color to green. You can see that when I hover on it, the color changes to green. Let me make it so that it's visible, very visible. Let me change it to red. You can see when I hover on it, the color changes to red. You can see that helps you deal with this part of the assignment. Oh, you can see my cursor is pointing. So what do I want to do? I want my cursor to also point. So I can just do cursor pointer. And when I hover, you can see my cursor is pointing. This is how you, you do it. You have an HTML, HTML file, you have a CSS file, by the time you're going to CSS and you're learning your CSS, you, you from, from, from this material, from HTML schools or reading schools, they will tell you how to link your HTML file to your CSS file. You understand? So you'll be taught on how to link your HTML file to CSS file. So this is just how you can go through the assignment and walk through the assignment. Let me see if there's any other thing. Now you can see this. You can see this is like paragraph. Let's see, they do something like this. Let's create a paragraph. Let's get a paragraph here. Let's see if I, let's put another paragraph. Now you can see I open my tag and I close my tag. Okay, so I can't, I need to copy. Let me copy something from here. Let me just copy this. Let me come and paste it here. Now you can see my paragraph. It begins to take. It's beginning to take shape. You can see my paragraph is beginning to take shape. You can see. So this is how you do your assignment, your task. And I hope that um, with dedication, with, um, with resilience and with sacrifice that you can try to achieve this in an easy way and in no due time. So with that said, If you have any question, I... with that being said, if you have any question, I can take your question and then get back to you and then respond to your question. Is there any question? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Please go ahead. All right, I have a question around what the class structure will be like when we start. So is it a physical class and virtual together or all physical? Okay, so let me let me defer that question to um, 
So forever, forever, are you there? She's not online. She's not online. Is not paying me around. I think you are the only. Hi everyone. Oh, okay. Hi everyone. Yes, this is Okoyemi. Um, if I get your question right, um, thank you, Jalili. You are asking if there will be if it's calculus or if it's just going to be virtual. So, yeah, I'm referring to what like commitment level would be. Is it that we're copying to a fiscal location every day or how does it work for the four months? Okay, so for live sessions, the live sessions are virtual and you can join from anywhere you are. However, there's a space at Magada if you need um, access to internet and maybe constant power supply, then you can come to the space at Magada. However, um, the model is the same for everyone. Whether you're coming to the space or you're joining from your house, it's still a live session. A virtual live session. Oh, okay. Thanks. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. Please, where I... exactly in Bagada? Is that um Poladinodu Pedro? What? Poladinodu Pedro. You can find um the address also on our website, or I can drop it in the chat box. Okay, does please, that work? Uh, drop it in the chat box. Chat box. Let me see that. Please. All right. Okay. okay. The, the 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 space environment is very conducive, very lovely, very nice, where you can come, relax, cool your head down, and study. <laughs> I have a second question. All right, go ahead. Uh, okay, so when I was in my research on the website, I saw February 2021 court. So does it mean okay. that that's when the training starts? And then also, yes, what's the timeline for, for the assignment? For what assignment? Um, the one that was just explained, the test, the um, OMA assessment okay. test. Okay. Okay. So yes, the next course starts in February 2021, which is um, the same one you just applied to. The one whose application is open starts in February 2021, and. Um, I'm not sure what exact date one, then for when your task is due, um, it's best that you complete your application and turn in your task before the year runs out because um, there are li limited slots and um, those that submit early enough are going to, of course, be given um, um, first attention. So it's best you submit on time if you're able to, but if not, at least I believe uh, a month before resumption time should also be a good time. Okay, and then I'm assuming that in January there might be like fiscal interviews or what will be happening before then? The application process is pretty simple. There's no physical interview. Um, you would notice that during your application stage, you were required to turn in a, I think one minute long video, um, basically explaining who you are and why you're applying to the program. So that's already covered for the interview stage. So we don't have to stress anybody coming down to the space. Mm, I guess I missed that. I would have to go back to check because I didn't drop any video. Have you completed the application? Mm, I thought I had, but I would check. Okay. All right, thanks. Any other okay. questions or any technical questions for Jenny? I see some questions. OK, okay. Jalili, I think there's some questions in the chat box. Yes. Sorry about that. Um, so Palumi says that uh, I want to believe that Palumi is speaking, right? No, no. Actually, the question was from um, what's his name? Edu. Edu. Okay, Edu. So Edu says I'm having issues with deploying my project using Surge. Please, can you walk us through using a Windows laptop, please? Sorry, repeat the question again. Can you take okay. it in your chat box? Just so that I'm I will finding be difficulty in deploying the, the project I've done, this assignment using the um, search platform you gave us. And the work um, walkthrough video on the platform itself is not even explanatory at all. So if you can use a video, um, a, your window laptop, just to explain, walk us through how to upload our assignments. Hold on, your assignment is this single page? Is this static? Yes, the single page, yes. The static page. Yes, I used um, the inline um, CSS. We use the inline CSS. Okay, I don't think it matters. Yes. Let me go. 
<clears throat> okay, so for search, for you to use search, what you just need to do basically is to type search. Let me see. Search just sh. I don't think I've. I'm so sorry. I need to interrupt you, please. I'm so sorry. Um, the assignment says we should duplicate that site. Okay. So duplicating the site, if you if you click on some things, it goes to other. It's like there are links to some other pages. Hold on. Check. It's something like this. No, or... no. Sorry. Okay, now like all this about my work, uh, my work contact archive, there are links to other these things, and that is not going to be a one page this thing. Yeah, it's not going to be a one page. So, what you're about to teach us now is it going to cover works that are not one page too, or just for only one page work? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Can I cut in? I go, I got, I, I went through that. It, it says the only the first page only. We shouldn't, we shouldn't go further. Just the, first. just the first page, yes. Yes, so we are only cloning this first yeah, page, first. just one page. Oh, shit. You don't have to I've, link I've, any pages. I've been doing all those links and all those things. That's why I've not yet finished the project since. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not such a bad one. At least you'll be learning something. But yes, the requirement is just one page. Oh, okay, okay. Then. Sorry. Um, <laughs> was it yeah. me? Okay. Now you can see, believe me, that if you were in an interview and they gave you an assignment, a task in an interview, you will fit that interview immediately because you did not read, did not read the question that was asked of you. You get so number one thing, like I said earlier, regardless of any task, if they give you a task or an assignment or you're in an interview setting, the first thing you need to do is to read the question and understand the question. No. It's a read, read the question now. There's no thing specifying that. It's just, it's, they said you should clone that site. There's okay. nothing specifying that, just one page now. Look at it very well yourself. That's the question there, number one and two. There's nothing specifying that it's just one page that I'm supposed to do. And that site has links and all those things. So that is what I was trying to achieve, not just. Okay. Uh, okay, so, well, basically, the bottom line is though, the bottom line is though that if you, if you are, if you're giving a task, Read, um, maybe try and read and understand the task very well before you. Yeah, I get, I get it. I get it. It's very, very. It is very, very key. You get. It's very, very key. Yeah. All right. Okay. So concerning the search, for you to use search, you need the, you need a command line. You need your command line to do that. You need um, your command line. I know. Let me see. Um. Let me see. Because I don't build static websites, so forgive me. Number one, you need to CD into where the file is. You get, you need to CD into wherever the file is. That what does that mean? Do you guys know how to use the terminal? Does anybody know how to use the terminal? No, I don't. No. You don't. Okay, so for you to be able to use the file, number one, you need to. You need to be in the repository where the file is. Okay, so the first thing, one of the first things you need to learn first, in fact, by the end of the day, by the after this class, you should just go and learn how to use the terminal. Now, what does that mean? I want to go to my look at my terminal now. I want to go to my desktop. I will do something like this. You can see that I'm in my desktop right now. I can do directory and see all the files in my desktop. You can see, <clears throat> I can do CLS to clear. Let me repeat it again. I'm in my folder, I'm in my desktop now. Let me go to a folder in my desktop. Let me look at, let me look at directory for instance. I have all these, look, I want to go into this file. There's a file on my desktop called React. Let me show you my desktop. Now I have a file in my desktop called React. So I want to go into that file. Now look, let me clear, CLS is clear. Now I'm in my desktop directory right now, right? I want to go into the folder called React. I will do CD React. What CD simply means is that change directory. So I'm changing the directory from desktop to React. Once I click on this, you can see that React is now there. Now I'm inside the React. It's as simple as just doing this. 
It's as simple as just doing this. You can see that React is here. Once I click here, once I double click this, now I'm in my React window. I'm no longer on my desktop. So the same thing is happening here. I'm in my React folder. I'm no longer in my desktop. Let me do, now let me go to, um, so what's the name of that lady that asked that question now? Ego. Ego. Did you say ego? Ego. Okay. Let me not pronounce it. Let me not pronounce your name wrongly. Now I want to go into the folder called Netflix. What should I do? Based on my explanation now, I want to go into the folder called Netflix. What do I do? You, you should click on and type in. I don't know. I will do CD, which means I'm changing the directory away from Ria, this place. I'll change CD to where? I don't know. I'll see it to Netflix. I say based on my explanation, you can see. And once I see it to Netflix, I'm inside Netflix. You can see. Let me open a folder for you again. This is my Netflix. Where's Netflix? There's Netflix here. Let me open it. You can see. I have two them here. You get. So I have this. So I know for search, once you type search, it asks you for your username, for your email, and um, if you don't have an email. So the first thing you need to do first, you need to set yourself. You can see now I'm inside search, right? Hello? We are here. Yeah. So you can see now that I've typed search. You have brought up my email address, student, my project. This is my project environment you get. So for you to use search, the video is actually self-explanatory, but what you need to be very sure of is you need to be sure that you are in the directory of where your folder is. So what you could be doing wrong is that your folder is not in the directory where it should be. Let me walk you through the process again. Let me go like this. Let me go back. Please start from the entire beginning, please. Ah, sorry. The entire beginning. Let me close my command no. line. Yes, please. I'm so sorry about that. Line. No problem, no problem. Uh, let me close my command line. Now go on your laptop. Are you on your laptop? If all of you, if you guys are on your laptop, now can you go on your command line? Can you do CMD on your laptop? And you'll see something called command prompt. Click it. Are you guys with me? Have you guys done it? Any feedbacks? Can I go ahead? Yes, please. Okay. Now I'm in now I'm in the root folder. You get. Now I want to move from the root to my desktop, for instance. I'll do CD desktop which means I'm changing my directory. Now I can only change my directory to a step forward, to a step up, you get. I'm changing my directory to desktop. Now you say system cannot find the path, why? Because my desktop is not desktop, it's desktop. So I'll make it correct again. I'll change the directory to CD, which means change directory to desk top. Once I do that, you can see now that desktop has been added to the directory. Now I mean users talk to desktop. Now in my desktop, in my desktop, I have a folder called React. This is my desktop. Now I'm here. This is where I am now, desktop, from the command line. I have this folder called React. I want to go into this folder so that I can see all these files. Let me count the number of files. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I want to see all these 20 files. What do I do? I will CD into React folder. 
<coughs> now let me do my directory see everything inside <coughs> you can see i feed it into the directory i have 20 folders we're showing 22 directories because there are two invisible dev folders there that you cannot see you get for some reasons you get now i'm in my react folder i want to go into netflix now let's let's go into react here okay this react i want to go into this netflix netflix folder what do i do i will see the into netflix i'm in my netflix folder now i'm in this folder here netflix this netflix is holding my index.html my readme folder my css file you can see it's holding this file so what i want to do is is holding these three things that i need so which means this is the things that i want to upload and i'm in this directory netflix cool and i'm in this directory netflix now because i'm in this directory netflix what do i want to do i have access to the netflix folder now i want to all i just want to do is just press search so once i do search it's going to so i at that point everything in this folder is what i would be uploading to search so from here you can follow the whatever command line search has for you all right So you can learn more on how to use command line on if you go to reading schools, as I told you earlier, they have things for terminal and command line. You can learn from there. All right. Any other question? Let me see if there's any other question on the chat box. Okay. And thank you so much for that. Right, and and this, this search, do we have to download, install the search itself? No, you don't. This is it. Okay. I've just, I don't have storage, storage installed anywhere on my system. Okay. I'll give it a try. Thank you. Forget. Try. Give it a try. That's the spirit. I love that. I will give it a try. Okay. That's the spirit. Okay. So, Edu. Okay. Your name is Edu. Sorry. Okay. I'm having issues with deploying my project using search. Please, can you walk us through using a Windows laptop, please? Okay, I think I've done that. <laughs> it's like the content of the site keep changing. Uh, what content is that? This, this slide was shared with everyone. Can you check your mail to confirm? Okay. Uh, this one says, what languages do you know? Okay, this one is a private message sent to me. Okay, um, let's see this. Any... Okay, somebody say you, I tried viewing, I tried using the VS code and could not view the result of what I am, I am coding. Okay, um, uh, Sarah. Can you please expatiate on that so that I can understand what you're saying and I can help you um, accordingly. So you are you can't you can't see the result of what you are coding, or you can't view the results. I need to get understand that. Hello, Sarah. Osuji, Sarah. Hello? Yeah, Sarah. Is that Sarah? Yeah, this is Sarah. All right, Sarah, please, uh, can you please expand on your question? Okay, Um, I tried using VS Code, like I said, but, okay, okay like I'm used to code editors like the one on free code, where as you're coding on the other side, you're seeing everything that you're outcome of what you're doing but on vs code it's just the codes but i don't see to okay like what we like you what do. is wrong i can't run it okay so you're used to what we used on um what's the code code pen right yes 
Okay, yeah, because you know, so many things have gone underneath the hood, so it's working underneath the hood basically, and that's the reason why. But in real life, you won't be using code pen, you'll be using VS Code, and um, that's where you so you have to know how to do it. So, I'm going to give you guys like an, an, like an example, I'll, I'll show you how you can do it. Let me let me quickly let me do that. Let me do that. Okay, so let me go to this my Netflix folder. Let me go to this Netflix folder. Um, let me control C. Let me. Okay. I'm trying to open my VS code. I don't want to interfere with what I what I'm working on. So I'm trying to open it fresh, just with the have just that. Um, um, this is it. Okay. Okay. So this is my folder, right? So the file you have is just HTML. Sarah, I want to be sure the file you have is just HTML and CSS, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so first and foremost, are you on your VS code now? I want uh, to give if you are your, are you on your system now? Yes, I am. Okay, from your VS code, can you install live server? So I'm trying yeah. to make do you have live server installed already? Go to look at this place where I am extensions. You can see this extension. Yeah. Yeah, click on it. Okay, please hold on. I'm trying to minimize my screen. Okay, click on it. Please give me a moment. No problem. You have what the moment. Ready? Uh, in a bit. Still loading. Yeah, just simple. What I just wanted to just do is just download live. So yes, yeah, the VS code wasn't open. So I'm yeah. just clicked on it now. I've opened this thing before I, before I started. Sorry. Okay, so rather than waste time, um, what should I do? You can see live server. Just type search for live server. You can see live server. Once you click on it, I have it installed already. Just click on install. You will see it. Click on install. And once you click on install, that's all. That's all you need to do. Okay. Now, when you want to test your code, once you write a code, you come to your HTML. Instead of opening your HTML from your from your local directory like this, you get instead of opening your, your folder from a local directory like this, and you are and you are manually and, and you know you are always refreshing, right? All you just need to do is just come to your VS code here. So your index.html, open it with live server. So once it opens with live server, you can see that open with live server, it's open with this port. So for every update you are doing, let me see, let me do an update for instance. Look at here, I have unlimited movies. Let me change this to unlimited movies. 
and videos. You can see that I'm seeing it immediately. You get, let me move and videos. You can see, I'm seeing it immediately. You can see? Yeah. So <clears throat> that's it. So you are, you are coding, you are seeing what you are doing immediately. You don't have to, you know, stress yourself too much about that. Thank All you. right? Yeah. Okay. Helene, please, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, is it possible for me to just take a quick look at your CSS code for that HTML, uh, for that uh, Netflix that you just open now? Sorry, who's that? Who's speaking? Follow me, follow me. You want to take a look at the CSS code? Yes. Okay. What do you want to do with I just it? Want to, I just want to see it. You want to spy? No, I'm not spying. I'm not spying. I just want to see it. What was CIA? You want to see my code? <laughs> so I see it. Oh. What's that readme.md? What does what? What's the readme.md? It's a readme file. Just it's a readme file for it's there because maybe when you want when you push it to um when you push it to when you push your files to GitHub. Have you guys heard of GitHub before? Yeah, I've heard of yeah, GitHub. Yeah. When you push your file to GitHub, probably you want somebody to be able to read, you know, give somebody people the the maybe the consume the people that will be consuming the file, the, the instructions on things about the, the file and maybe any better information. So it's just a normal file where you can just read stuff and all those things. Okay. Again, it doesn't play any role on the code. Okay. Yeah, you were saying um I heard you mention something about static site or something like is your you're asking someone that's your is your site static or something because what do you, asking, what do you mean by static static is basically a page a single page file that's not doing anything and what's the other word non-static non-static okay dynamic okay, non-static right. files or dynamic files yes uh, Please, there's a lady that promised to send um, the, ad the address of uh, Bagada uh, space to the to the chat. I've not seen it. I think it's number 16. I think it's number 16, for that general street. I'm not hearing that part. For that what? I think it's number 16, for that general street. For that general Yes, for that general street. Yes, thank you, Jenny. Okay. All right, thank you everybody. Number 16 nice is for large in the street. Hello, hello, yes. Um, can you speak up, please? Hello, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, yes. I'll yeah. Your name is breaking. Can you hear me now? Go ahead. Hello? Yes, I don't want to put up. But tell me now that it's my choice. Uh hi, hi, Edu. Yes. I don't think anybody can hear you very well. Okay. I'll set. Can you hear me now? Yes, this is better, I do. Yes. OK, I'll do what you told us to do. Okay, hello everybody. Can everybody hear me? All right. All right, okay. Thank you, okay. 
Hello? Hello? Hi, Jenny. All right, okay, thank you very much, right? Can I go down? Hello, if anyone can hear me, please uh, signify. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, we can. Okay, great. So if you have any more questions, um, everyone will be added to a Slack, Slack channel where you can ask your questions. And then this, the recording of, of this uh, session would be uploaded on YouTube and then shared with everyone. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jalili, for coming. And thank you, everyone else, for joining the call. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.